Hey, welcome back. We're going to do an interesting kind of different type of video today. One take, I'm going to be repairing some of the dies. These dies get worn out from making so many axes and after so many months they need to be repaired. So I've got these combo dies here and as you can see they're really, really worn out. I'm going to be fixing one of these on video. I'll take you through how I do it. It's really simple and then we can compare before and after on the die. So the first thing I'm going to do is run some weld beads on it. I'm just trying to fill up these spots where I've um, worn away on the dies, where I use them frequently, and um, you know, I'll be able to grind it away. The big B. I was like, there's something hitting me while I was welding the Hornet. Oh, we gotta take care of that. I've got a, I've got a way to take care of that. Back to welding. Let's go. All right, now that this is all welded up, we're going to get to grinding. It's not going to take a whole lot. This is just the big bead. Uh, the die is mild steel.
of work where you're filling in bad spots, it's always good to do one or two, or, sorry, a second or a third round after the first one so you can see better what needs to be filled in. So I did the bulk of the welding and the grounded away, now I can see a little more where I missed. So I need to fill in some of these deeper spots still on this edge here. But all this right here is new material. That was all uh, just welded in on these edges here. So I'll go back out real quick and fill that in a little bit more. Is pretty much done. Quite a bit of welding into it. All right, so if you look at the, these two dies now, there's still some dimples in this one, but that's not really what I was getting after. Um, if you wanted to nitpick it, you could go back and, and weld some more, but that won't really affect the work that I'm doing. So what I was trying to get was these really boogered up sections on the die and get a, a nice radius on here again get everything straight lines for forging because this is kind of deformed out um, almost all of the dies on my press are mild steel and there's positives and negatives to having mild steel dies positive is it's super easy to repair whenever something wears out I just put MIG bead on it grind it off and it's good to go again Downside is it wears out a little bit faster, so there's more maintenance, but um, it's their dies are easy to make. You know, this this would uh, cost a lot more and take a lot longer to make if it were like S7 or H13 or even 4140 or something like that. So mild steel dies are super easy to make. They're super easy to repair. They do wear out a little bit faster. I've got both H13 and mild steel dies and depending on the dye's use will kind of determine what I decide to use as the material for it. So um, let me know if you enjoyed this video, you know, this style of video where we just run through something quickly, kind of a one take where you see me do just a quick little project from start to finish. Let me know in the comments below if you like this and we can do more like this in the future or if you hated it or what, whatever. Just let us know and uh, thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.